Hello, hello. I'm so happy to be here. I'm glad y'all are here. Um, it's Friday and I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off and I finally have gotten settled down enough to be able to do some work. Um, I mean, I've been doing other work, you know, similar work, but um, trying to get ready for the farmer's market tomorrow. I know, big whoop, farmer's market, you know, but, you know, we take what we can get. And I asked my mother to pick up some gloves for me today, and I thought she knew that I used disposable gloves, but apparently she didn't. So she got me, she got me these. <laughs> So, I'm going to try to wear them because I don't have any more, and, um, I figure this is better than nothing. I'll just wipe them off, you know. Um, I'm doing some more little blooms still, um, because I already had some of this stuff mixed up, and I just thought, well, I might as well just go on and try to use it all and, uh, go ahead and make them because I'm hoping I'll sell some and need some more, so that's my thinking. Anyway... I have lots of colors again, and I don't even know where to start. I got so many colors. Um, I went a little crazy once more. Well, I'll start where I know how to start. Let's we'll start with boysenberry, because I love boysenberry. And, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear these gloves. They're awful clunky. Uh, I'll try. I hope I don't make a big mess. Mess something up real bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. They're, they're just in my way. I'll just have to go without. I should have stopped and got some just in on my way home, but I was thinking about other things. Being distracted. So anyway, it is Friday, and I don't work other than this, so it's like any other day to me, but for some of y'all, it's a big deal. Um... I'm not sure about all these colors. That's, you know, I told you that's boysenberry. And that other one there is cobalt teal. And, um, this is obviously some yellow. <laughs> um, we had a horrible rainstorm here today. And, um, oh, it was crazy. I got caught in it because I had to go to Lufkin to get house paint. And, um, it was terrible. Um, all right, which way is it migrating now? It's going a different way. Um, and a lot of these are just pigment this time. I made them very concentrated because I had some really good luck with the ones um, from yesterday that were just pigment. And um, I've not had that happen before. Before, um, I had to mix paint into them. And if, if I tried to use too many that were just pigment, I had problems. So, some of them have paint, some of them don't. Um, this green has a little bit of paint in it. But for the most part, um, this time, you know, the, a whole bunch of them are, are mostly pigment. And I can't remember which is which. This is a pigment right here, a color art pigment. It's really pretty. Look at that. So, anyway, they're, um, I'm still experimenting with that, but so far... Making them really concentrated like that, I've been okay without the paint. I mean, it's hard to explain because some of my colors I am still putting paint in just to have some. Um, because I'm scared to try to use just pigment because I've done that before and it was bad. Alright, let's see. I got that all off center. since I had my car wreck the other day since I got run over um, I had forgotten that all of my stuff, my canopy and all of my stuff was in my car at the collision place and I almost forgot to go pick it up and or about an hour ago my husband said something to me about it and I was like oh gosh I gotta get up there and do that 
And I called them and they were like, oh, well, we closed at 2. And I said, well, no, wait a minute. Y'all aren't supposed to be open until 5.30. And he said, well, huh? Yes. Are you in the motorcycle? Yes. Oh. I'll be out in a minute. Huh? I'll be out in a minute. I'm sorry, what? I will be out in a minute. Oh, who are you talking to? I'm making a video. Oh. Lord, you think they'd know that by now. When I'm in here talking, I'm not just talking to myself. Uh, anyway, he said, well, I got a record guy coming by, and he, he can let me in, so that worked out really well. I was very happy, because that would have sucked. I've worked, done so much work for this, and then to not be able to go on top of that would have really pissed me off. <sighs> anyway, it's nice to be able to paint. Oh, my gosh, the world comes back to normal when I can paint. You know, everything goes back to being right. And I can bank. Okay, what else on this one? And these two colors here, I just used uh, one of them uh, on that other one. And they look almost identical, but they're not. They're actually kind of different. The boysenberry this time is just pigment. There's no uh, paint in it. And look at how pretty it is. And um, I'm gonna throw in something a little odd, just for the hell of it. I like that color and I'm throwing it in even though it doesn't really maybe seem like it fits. I found that a lot of times in picking colors, somebody asked me on Facebook how you pick colors. Well, you know, that's kind of hard to answer. Um, but one of the things is that I try to think about things, um, sort of different combinations that aren't real obvious like that right there. Um, because a lot of times those turn out, you know, they may not look pretty when you first put them down like this, but when you blow them out, they look really neat. You know, sort of different ones. All right, I gotta get some breath. That's pretty. I love the cells. They're just amazing. And I cannot figure out what to attribute that to. Um, because um, I, I want to say that it's the bright tone, but I'm not sure because I've been, I haven't used polyacrylic in, in a long time, so I'm not sure. I'm about to run out of bright tone, so maybe I'll be able to tell you in a week. Uh, if I don't get any more bright tone in and I have to use polyacrylic. Um, polyacrylic's not, you know, bad. Um, but I can't remember if it made cells like this or not. And so, I'm not sure. I gotta turn this around. So, I'm not sure uh, what to attribute it to. But, I'm just not gonna change anything. Because something that I'm doing is making me really happy. Look at that. That is just beautiful. It looks like wisteria blooms. And see that brownish color I put in there? Look at how interesting that made it. I learned that from Jen Neal. Um, she's not afraid to experiment and not afraid to try colors that, you know, like browns and blues and well, browns and all kinds of things, you know, just like she's just not afraid to, to try Different color combinations that, you know, you might not think of, in other words. And I try to do that, too. I really like this one. This is beautiful. The cells and the lacing are just really pretty. I've had so much fun doing these little blooms. I had forgotten how much fun they are. Because I've been working so hard trying to get the big ones, trying to do big ones and stuff. I had forgotten that these little ones are so much fun to do. 
and um, I did a set of coasters because I ha was given them by that friend of mine that decided not to paint anymore. And uh, I may do some more of those because, you know, they're even smaller than these, but they were fun um, to do. I was talking about the brown and this, but I really meant the brown and that. Look at that. Ooh. Very pretty. I gotta move this one a little bit. I'm trying to be really careful with these because I have this horrible phobia of just knocking one off of these rails into the abyss. And my friend and my mother came over today and she bought a couple of these little ones. She bought um, one of my um, traditional acrylics the other day, which y'all don't know about because I would never post a video of me painting those because it would take two weeks. <laughs> I'm very slow. <laughs> um, probably because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but I'm trying. You know, I'm doing something different. And um, in my book, that's to be applauded, even if it, you know, it takes time to learn new things. And, um, Anyway, she bought one of those, and then she bought a couple of these little ones to go with it. But back to picking colors, um, I wanted to talk about that for a minute because I've had several people ask me that, and I don't really know how to answer it. Um, I just, a lot of times, will just go in and start looking at my colors and thinking about what I would like to see together. I have certain colors that I just like. You know, I like teal and red. And I like aquamarine, I like blues, I like greens. Um, but I also, you know, I like um, combinations that um, aren't real common, like this, for instance. Um, but um, if that doesn't help me, then um, I'll just start mixing up some pigments or, you know, picking a couple of colors that I like and uh, just mix them and then I start to think, you know, what would go good with this? What would, what would fix this? What would make this look better? Yada yada. These little dots. I don't like. Oh, they're bubbles. I don't like them. I'm gonna push them off. And the craft Nick does have a lot of bubbles, but usually they disappear on their own by this point. I've never had any problem with them, but just then I popped that one and it made a big white hole. Don't want a big white hole. Um, anyway, I don't really know how to answer that question. I just pick them based on my gut, really. Um, that's the honest answer. I know it's not really helpful, but um, I, I have a sense you know, I, I like my sense of color. I like the colors that look good to me. And um, I have to redo this little one real quick. My mother stuck her thumb in it today. This is one of the little coasters. And I'm trying to, I don't, I don't have to make it the same. Um, I might try to make it sort of similar, but. I'm not worried about it being the same. And that kind of sucks because I was hoping to have these out there tomorrow and I won't be able to get this resin in time. I can get the other ones done. in there in there and my stupid stupid Amazon uh, order of uh, titanium white they say now maybe lost <laughs> I'm like you think it's been like two months yeah maybe it's lost and they're like well what do you want to do and I'm like I want my product so I'm just gonna have to get a refund. I ordered it from Michaels. It'll take several days to get here from there, but at least I'll know it's coming.
and now we wait. Those are really pretty. I like those. And this looks almost like the other one did. It's not much different. Um, it's still moving though. I have to give it time. It's beautiful. I like those colors. Y'all are probably so tired of hearing me say that. I mean, what colors don't I like? I like all the colors. I don't know what colors I don't like. I, there aren't any that I don't like. Um, there's some that I prefer, though. I, I like blues and greens and purple. But then again, you know, I like red and black and gold. And I just like it all. There isn't anything about painting I don't like. Not one thing. I even got into the working outside on the backs of those pieces. You know, I, I bitched and whined about having to do that. And uh, I even kind of got into doing that after a while. I really got on a roll and uh, I was slinging some canvas out there. And I was having a good time. And that's usually my least favorite thing to do. These are tiny little bitty things. I've never done anything this small before. I haven't ever done tiles. These uh, six by six canvases are the smallest I've, I've played with. Uh, I tried to do the tiles one time, but I didn't like them. Um, I couldn't figure out what I was gonna do with them, for one thing. I mean, other than practice, you know, what do you do with them? Um, I guess people use them for coasters, maybe. I don't know. Um, I had bad tiles too, that was part of it. They weren't really good tiles for it, but um, I didn't like them. They got real slippery and hard to work with, and they're heavy. And these things are little wood, and like little little tiny canvas things, and so they're much easier to work with. But I just couldn't figure out really what um, I was gonna do with them because um, other than making a whole bunch of selling on those coasters. And these tiles, these particular tiles, had those little holes in them, you know, that's supposed to make texture or whatever. So I don't know if they would have been very good for coasters. I don't think people would have liked them. Almost done. This little big one is moving slow. Well, I guess I didn't put as much paint on it and it's taking forever. I was gonna try to patch that up with a paintbrush, but you can't ever do it justice. I mean, I might could have patched it, but it wouldn't have looked the same. So I figured screw it, I'll just report. it. I've never sold coasters before. It ain't gonna hurt anything if I don't sell them this time. And it turned out to be beautiful after all that horrible rain. I mean, it was so bad on the loop on the way home. People were pulling over and all kinds of stuff. And now it's just sunny and pretty. That's like I told you about the weather around here, you know. If you don't like it, just wait a minute. This is the part that makes them beautiful, but it's the most frustrating part to me, this waiting, you know. But the stretching and everything is what makes them so interesting and intricate and beautiful. And, and yet, it's the part that I have the hardest time with because I get so antsy. Alright, I'm going to pay thick coat of house paint all over my hands. So, hang on a minute before I can pick up that camera. She's stopped and gotten gloves. Oh well. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot about these in here. 
that one and that one are dry. Okay. Let me let you look at these up close. Come on, camera. Okay. I don't know why it wants to fade in and out of being focused. That's beautiful in there. It looks like a butterfly wing. And this little one here. Alright guys, thanks so much for being with me. I feel like I've just run through this really quick, but it hasn't been. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me and supporting my channel. I appreciate it very much. I'll be here for the rest of the day. I'll make some more videos. I do this every day. This is my life. So thank you for joining it. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon.